The bloody trail from the house along the walkway and onto Louise Bevan Street are the signs that something went awfully wrong this morning in Southside Belize City. 52-year-old Consuela Pop was inside her house when her 19-year-old stepson began chopping her multiple times to the head and upper body. Pop ran out the house and onto the street in fear of her life, her attacker in hot pursuit, chopping her with two machetes. Even more traumatic is that the incident occurred in the presence of her daughter, who stood watching helplessly as her mother was being hacked by her stepbrother. Upon the arrival, they conducted an investigation into the incident, which revealed that 19-year-old um, Dinsdale Flowers had inflicted chapung to his stepmother, a uh, 52-year-old Consuelo Pop, and a neighbor, Angelo, Angelo um, Figueroa. Uh, Contrello had received chop to her hands and her forehead, while uh, Angelo received uh, chop pung to his back. Uh, at this time, uh, Contrello is listed as critical, and the the motive for this recent incident is unknown at this time. Screams for help caught the attention of officers stationed at the police checkpoint a short distance away on Freedom Street. Two officers initially responded and apprehended Pop's stepson, Dinsdale Flowers, with the machetes in hand. A police pickup rushed Pop to the KHMH for urgent medical care. Minutes later, another chopping victim, D'Angelo Figueroa, was taken to the hospital by police. Yeah, we have too much at this time because uh, in the opposition. Okay, sir. Um, uh, actually, I, I have the, I don't have any information as to the accused status as it is in custody at this time. Though. While a motive has not been ascertained, the case is being handled by the domestic violence unit. That, according to Deputy Regional Commander Alden Dawson, is subjected to change depending on the evolution of the crime. At this time, it is being handled by the domestic uh, unit, as it. It, uh, it is family as such. However, based on the, the, the nature, as the case progresses, we'll decide whether CIB intervene or the DVU continue with the investigation. Dwayne Moody for News 5.